why me a new creation man we don't need consecration it is holy before god created after god in true righteousness and uh, holiness amen. amen glory to god now we finish with this by going to revelation chapter 11. I will read verses 3 and 4 and understand verse 4 in the light of verse 3 of Revelation 11 and see that the reality given in verse 3 as set forth in verse 4 can be understood along the line that the Lord Jesus Christ himself teaches us in Revelation 1 20. Accordingly, we are going to read these three verses of scriptures. Are we together? Yes. Are we together? Yes. All right. Revelation chapter 11, 3 and 4. Huh? Mama B. Uh -huh. You should open your Bible, but you read the one there. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Verse 3. One to go. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Amen. Clothed in sackcloth means they are still human. So these two witnesses are not angels. People like saying angels, angels. But they are the dimension of ministry that they cannot communicate. Now I say, and I will give what? Power. power. The word power is supplied. Therefore it is not in the original. But it will give everything that is required for his people to stand in the fullness of partnership with him. To prophesy, to do the work of the Lord. Amen. 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 Then verse 4. Who are these two witnesses? Then they, this is given. This as well, the two olive trees. In the spiritual leadership among God's people, the symbolism of olive tree is here used. And what? The two candlesticks. That the witness, the, the, the two witnesses will be a congregation, a body of people living meeting in one place is indicated by two candlesticks put your finger there and turn with me to revelation 1 20. are we together yes. revelation 1 20. revelation 1 20. the mystery of the seven star with that sweat in my hand are the seven what Golden what? No, sorry. The mystery of the seven star which that's where in my hand and the seven golden candlesticks. That is the truth about it. Once he did not reveal, this is it. This is the interpretation. I've told you that I'm revealing my son to you and I've sent and signified it, which means by means of symbols and signs, I communicate my truth. But you need to know what these two things stand for. For when I turned, I, I saw seven candlesticks. And in, 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 my, and in, in his right hands, we are seven stars. What do these things mean? Jesus Christ offers the key that unlocks the principal symbols in the book of Revelation, which if he did not do, there will be real trouble. Trying to convince people that most of the angels in the book of Revelation speak of men and women. Amen? Amen. All right. The seven stars are what? The, the angels of the seven churches. The spiritual leadership. Because letters are to be written to them. If John wrote later and he wanted to post it to spirit angels. So he may have just written it and say, you angels, I don't see you, but I'm fulfilling my own part of the bargain. <laughs> the Lord said I should write letters to you. 
Now, I don't want you to even scare me. I won't even be here when you come. Here are your letters. <laughs> I've written boldly the one for Ephesus, Minor, uh, Pegamos, Thyatira, Sardis, uh, Philadelphia, and uh, Laodicea. Come and pick your own. <laughs> and then you go. Then they go. We should not be children. A human person cannot write a letter to a spirit angel. Because the angels we have to read it, internalize it, and teach the people. So these angels, so referred of to the churches, are human leaders. One angel representing the plural leadership. Because Philippians 1.1 1, 1 says that there must be plural ministries at two levels of spiritual leadership in every local congregation. Amen? Amen. So the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches and the seven candlesticks which that saw us are what? Seven churches. Back to Revelation 11 verse 4. These are the two olive trees. The word this is a pronoun and presupposes that the noun it is referring to is either evident in the same verse or in the context in which it stands. In this case, the, the, the word this, that pronoun, refers to what we read in verse 3. And it, it is so clear and there can be no ambiguity about it. So give us verse 3. And I will give power to my word to witnesses. Power will be given to this local This candlestick will receive power. Amen. The leaders will stand in capacity Amen. as olive trees. Amen. And they will supply what they receive Amen. from God. And the candlestick will beam light Amen. and it will illuminate the olive tree. Amen. The ministry to the body and the ministry of the body unto edifying itself in love. God is not going to visit one man that will be so mighty running all by He will empower whole congregation Amen. and their leadership. Amen. And they shall be witnesses unto him. Amen. I thought you will say, Amen. Amen. Shout it, Amen. Amen. The two witnesses are not, as I was to say, uh, Moses and Elijah. That's a story. Those stories. The church in this end time, as we continue to wait for him, the time will come when all the first waters and the first miracle by frogs will be dried up. Hallelujah. And they will move from talking about miracles to preparing war. So these three things that are going to gather people, uh, frogs, spirits, which are frogs, going to gather people for war, they are the spirits that perform miracles. Mm -hmm. Revelation 3. They will change their, their, their situation when the rethink comes. Hold on to the Lord. It's but a little while. And we shall express him in the manner indicated here. Yeah. And I will give power to my two witnesses and they shall prophesy. What are these? These are the two olive trees, the spiritual leadership in the local congregation, and the two candlesticks. The truth of this shall not be in only one congregation, but everywhere where the people meet the, the requirement, God will visit them. Amen. Two is a number of the church. Amen. Glory. Amen. So we go to Zechariah 14. Day after will come and answer the question about the four living creatures and the 24 elders. Are you tired? No. Uh, all right. So we shall go, we shall go quickly. And your last say we should be we'll be closing. Is it then your last and your last friend? Oh, you see, eh? Uh -huh. uh, I will respect you because you asked about living creatures. <laughs> <laughs> 
we are blessed. Amen. When our victory was beginning to ask of our four living creatures, you know, the kingdom has come. Yes. Glory. Yes. Where did I say we're open to? Yes. To what chapter? Oh, uh, no. no. I don't like this chapter of 14 in connection with this. I prefer chapter 4. So let's go there. You will see where the 14 comes up now. We shall read verses 1 and 2 and jump. We shall jump to verses 12 to 14. And in verse 14, we are told the symbolism of the olive trees. So we now have the symbolism of the candlesticks and we have the symbolism of the olive tree. And when the congregation have spiritual leadership given to God, and the congregation who declare their stakes as true yoke fellows, as stakeholders of the kingdom, manifest by giving themselves to prophetic praise and prophetic praying, then God can use them. Then collectively, they are the four living creatures and the 24 elders in that locality. I will say, Amen. All right. Chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. And here, we are told that in order to get these things, you need to be awoken from sleep. So there will be a jacket of the eyes. Amen. Your eyes will pop open. In the name of Jesus. And you will see this truth. Amen. Sandra, are you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. I trust. <laughs> and the angel that talked with me came again. And what did he do? He waked me from thinking of my assignments. He waked me from feeling sleepy. Huh? Glory. He who is awake unto the Lord in a particular dimension need to be awakened to another dimension to be able to receive what God says. John, you see these churches? These seven churches here, say, but come up here and I will show you things that shall be hereafter. May the Lord fully baptize all of us Amen. into seeing the fact that Hallelujah. when you unite yourself with the purposes of God, Amen. You make the room for God to fill you with the Spirit. There's no better time to be alive than now as a church. Why some people are, are getting confused and say, Ah, hey, Trump have, have uh, said uh, uh, Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Oh, it's the last time. It actually can take place anytime from now. Where are you going? When you've caused trouble and eating people's money, and they are not able to, to uh, pay their mortgage. You want to run away? La la. Stay here and solve their problem. I'm going nowhere. <laughs> yes, some people will repent of the, the wickedness they have performed towards people. It's always so. If you be a son of God indeed, turn these stones to become bread. The anointing can make living stones of the house of God commercial bread. God calls us to be servants, not merchants. And we'll not make merchandise of God's people. We shall keep our charge. For he that measures all things sees. We are not perfect. But the spirit of the perfect one leads us on. These are they that follow the Lamb with that soever he goeth. My sheep hear my voice, they don't see far, but they see me. And they follow me. Glory! We shall see with the eyes of our shepherd. We shall brought to face, previously unknown, that our shepherd takes us to. And he will guide us gently. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs 
is that I'm dying in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are weak young. Say, hey, you can't tire me because I'm shepherding you. Have you ever heard that the eternal one is faint? The young ones may faint and grow weary. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, to wait. Amen. The same scripture, Isaiah 40, that begins by says, <coughs> Comfort, comfort my people. Because I said, the voice of one cry in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Amen. 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 Comes to verse 11 and tells us the tenderness of our shepherd and invites us to the same grace by saying, The young man may be tired. And we die away, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. May we retain this Hallelujah. habit of dependency upon God, on waiting upon Him, Amen. never speaking until God gives you a word. Amen. For all scriptures shall be opened. Amen. Zachariah, Zephaniah 3 9, He shall restore the pure language. Amen. To his people, there shall be no misconception, but <coughs> the truth shall shine forth resplendently. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And sometimes, from time to time, we need to be woken up as one that sleep. Not that we are asleep, but relative to another realm we are ignorant of, it's as though we are asleep. But he will wake us up. He's been talking with us, so he can't tell us we are sleeping. But he will wake us up as you wake a man. That is asleep. Come up. Come up. Are you ready to come up? Yes. If you are ready to come up, jump and say, come up. <laughs> okay. I come up in the name of Jesus. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Wisdom is justified by our deeds. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Verse 1. And the angel that talked with me Amen. came again and waked me as a man that wake, that is wakened out of his sleep and said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I have looked and behold, a candlestick all of gold with, with a bowl upon the top of it and the seven lamps therein and seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top of the rock. Verse 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, No, okay, let us see the question first. Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what this be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. The spirit of the Lord will qualify you. Amen. And the spirit of the Lord has qualified you. Amen. As you led to yield to him, to be co-witnesses with the Holy Spirit. Now go to verse 12. Verse 11, we need verse 14. So that we can understand the symbolism of the two olive trees. And the connection that they bear to the candlesticks, and how that the entire congregation, local congregation in different places, will be the two witnesses of God in this last hour, filled with power. 
get ready. His visitation is near. Yes. Individually, we must seek him. Collectively, we must seek him. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Are we ready? From verse 11. Are you ready? Yes. They answered and answer said of this. What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick and upon the left side thereof? Verse 12. And I answered again and said to him, What be these two olive branches which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves? Verse 13. And he answered me and said, Knowest thou not what this be? And I said, No, my Lord. Verse 14. That's where, that's where the 14 came. Mm. Then said he, These are the two anointed ones that stand the, by the Lord of all earth. So the new Olympians are the two anointed ones. But in the setting that they would serve the Lord, it's not going to be low rangers. <coughs> Just running up and down. They shall be found in local settings. So the who are these two witnesses? The Bible says these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks. Bound up with the church is the witness of the two witnesses. <coughs> Glory be to God. Amen. And as such, they represent God's instrument for the outworking of His purpose. Amen. Another way to look at them is that they are the four living creatures and the 24 yes. elders. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. So we go back to Revelation 11, 3 and 4 and we close this meditation. Trusting that when we pick it up, we'll be able to come into the revealed activities of these living creatures and elders. Whenever the Lord will do something, there'll be a witness. Amen. Amen. The brother was telling me today, as we went, said the Lord has said, he will do this, this, and this, and this. We are all waiting for the unfolding. And I nodded my head in the spirit. I was joyful in the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Even now, the Lord will not do anything but make known his mind to a praying congregation who live, who live in the power of the Holy Spirit and they understand their place as worshippers of the living God. They will not be void of the word of the Lord. Amen. For the testimony of Jesus increases their capacity to prophesy. Amen. Verse 4. Verse 3 first. Is it 4 3? I said 11 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses. And let us say, Amen. Amen. It's admitted that at some point, they are witnesses and they'll be witnesses for him. But there's a new dimension that they will go to say, I know them. I will give power to my two witnesses. He knows you. Amen. 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 Do you know? He knows you. Amen. He knows you. 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 Amen. He knows you. Glory to the Amen. Well, then your your children will just come and just say, "I had a dream." By the time you tell the dream. You know what God has for you. For it shall be all of the house. Amen. Not only the only trees in the house, but the candlesticks by the themselves. They combine. It's a collective ministry. Glory to God. Um, because sometimes when men go without sense of accountability, they lose sense of the meaning of humanity. They begin to think themselves unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But when they see issues dealt with in the congregation by witnesses of 
different persons, they understand that the Lord is in his temple. And they are able to conduct themselves with uh, They know how to go out and come in among the most people. Only in a conventional setting can people learn truth. If you go and separate yourself up there and pray and be a monk, eh? And all you do daily is to cry to God and pray without a short setting. You cannot make God. You cannot. Because the glory of God is bound up on his people. Israel, my glory. Yes. Yes. Isaiah 46, 13. The highest thing that is said about any people is for God to call the people his glory. But it is say Moses, my glory. Or Isaiah, my glory. But what it says, Israel, my glory. There's something about the church you must know. Say, do not forsake the assembly of yourself together. As you come, have them head on to God in your closet, and I come, when, when we come together, there is a compassion explosion. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. When the church comes in a reserve, that's it. Young man, you are loosed yes. from this situation. Yes. That is so. But if they know not their power, that one herald can come, pick one James, and deal with him. And then take Peter and Lock. He said, Ah! And prayers we are made without ceasing unto God for Peter by the church. Acts 12, verse 5. When the church comes to that, no power can hold against the people who connect to God. Because when they pray, it is mighty to God. So the police are not strong. Prison doors are flung open. And the, those guards, battalion, are found sleeping. And when you come to the outer gate, yeah. it will open of its own accord. Amen. Because the church has prayed. Amen. Seek to eat in the mind on the minds. You see people quarreling with the church. Say, hey, what do you people think you are? Hey, it's dangerous. For God has confidence in her. She is the Lord's own. Israel. My glory. Amen. Just give up that uh, Isaiah 46, 13. Let me see whether I remember well. Isaiah 46, the last verse of verse 13, whichever. Isaiah 46. Glory. I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be what? Far off. And my salvation shall not turn. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. Amen. Amen. He will do it again. Amen. He will do it again. Amen. He said, and I will give. It is, he didn't say, I shall give. He said, I will give. Means it's finished. It's an event that must take place. Now is the time to blow the trumpet. Arise, you saints. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. Possess the Lamb. Now every power and dominion oh, yes. is not given into your hand. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We'll bow before your majesty. Amen. We'll